Hi guys, so um, I'm in the midst of uh, preparations for recording for some new Southerlies work that um, we're doing at the moment. Um, so videos are going to be a little slim on the ground for the next few days um, until I get that done. And it looks like there's some more recording work coming on its way, so which is great. Um, but I wanted to sort of keep things rolling on this YouTube channel. And I'm doing a bit of guitar maintenance at the moment and I wanted to bring up a small but very useful tip um, when it comes to uh, strap locks and uh, changing over straps and that sort of thing for your bass. So strap locks are by far the most secure way of securing your strap to your bass um, out of uh, all the options available to you but um, they're not infallible and they don't last forever so after a few years of use that you do get a good time out of them but after a few years of use they do start grinding down. Now what I've been using uh, let's go off the screen here at the moment, are the uh, Scholler strap locks, which are these little beasts, uh, and those attached to the base. So what these do is slide on like that, but um, after a few years of use, that sliding motion, it does grind away the metal on there. So at the moment, as I'm coming around to doing main general maintenance on my bases, I'm changing over to the Dunlop strap locks. Now the difference on these, if I can get this packet open, is that what you get is the same sort of uh, strap pin that attaches to your base, but the um, part that attaches to your strap actually goes into it. It slides in rather than onto. So you get a bit of a smoother sliding action. And I think that these parts kind of attach the strap a little bit more securely anyway. Um, but what I really wanted to cover today is changing over those strap pins because um, over time, as you change these over, they just need maintaining every now and then. But as you unscrew and re-screw these back in, you will slowly grind away the wood in the base. Um, so what I'm working on today is my Music Man Stingray, um, which has had these locks on for a while. They're not too bad these ones but they are beginning to show some wear and tear and getting a little bit rattly um, when I'm using it. So what I'm going to do is change over these pins, put in the new ones and what I've got today is I've changed and bought in some new straps. So I'm moving from the old ones. These are all levies, levies levers and these ones are really good. These are the old ones I had. Uh, these are the MSS1 black. Uh, I think they're about three inches wide, something like that. And those have been great for a while, but when you play a lot and you work at a computer a lot, your back does start getting some issues with it. So what I'm moving on to is these ones. And these are the MSS2-4, four inches wide. Essentially the same strap, just like really super wide. So when you've got those on your shoulder, it's like, weight distribution is fantastic. So we're moving over to those slowly and surely and they're fitting onto my bases as I'm doing maintenance on them. But today what we need to do is change over these strap pins, which is a nice easy task. Um, what you need really uh, is a good screwdriver, that's the bare essentials. A pair of clippers is quite useful as well, but I'll show you why in a, in a moment. So the first thing to do is to take the old pins out and that's just a case of unscrewing them. Uh, and getting those out of the wood of the base. These ones are still pretty firm in here, so that's a good sign that the wood is, you know, not too worn away inside. Um, one recommendation I would have is the ratchet screwdriver. It does save an awful lot of work in the long run to get these out. So, here we go. So, now we've just got the hole in the wood. Now what I would recommend is an awful lot of these don't come with the washers. So if you do have a washer on there, then I would recommend you keep hold of that because um, they just add a little bit more tension on here, uh, a bit more friction to, um, to hold this new strap pin on. Um, now, key point at this one, I would recommend you compare the two uh, screws that you've got. So these are the old ones I've got. These are the new ones that have come with the new strap blocks. Now obviously that's a little bit longer on the old one and I would say that they are much the same width. So I'm just going to double check 
And if the old screws do fit in the new strap blocks, uh, which they do, but the end pins don't quite go in, so that's going to sit a bit loose, which isn't going to work so well. So that's not a problem. If they fitted in, they would fit there, so there's not really going to gain a lot of um, space. So what we want to do now on this is to make sure that when we re-screw that new one in, that it's really nice and tight. And this is where you need some very untechnical parts, one matchstick and some glue. Now, uh, this is no more nails. Um, not particularly saying that that's the best one to do. I've recently got some new wood glue in that's specific to wood. Um, wood glue, wood putty, super glue, anything that's good and good firm hold is what you want. Now the matches, one tip on this one, burn the end of the match first, because you know, you don't want anything combustible in your base as such, any more than the wood itself. So I burnt that off, but let's trim the end of that off with your pliers. And what you want to do is basically split the matchstick. You don't need the full width of the matchstick. So what I'm doing there, I'll try and bring that up, is splitting along the middle of it. So that all we get is a little shard, much like that. It doesn't have to be a huge amount of wood, but it's just enough that will slot nicely into that hole that we've just uncovered. Now the key thing here is just to add a tiny dab of glue. All we want to do is basically just put that into the end of the glue and just put in just enough to coat that piece of wood. And then that should slot nicely into that hole. So now what we've got, and it's very difficult to show on this angle, is, oh, where are we? That hole and the screw, the, the match rather, glued into there. Now what that does is just make up for any of the wood that's come out when I've unscrewed the old strap lock. What we can do now is take the new strap lock, save the washer from the old one, and that can go on, oops, onto there. It's a little tighter, so it suggests that the screw is slightly wider. I'll put my screwdriver. Which is a good thing, as it will tighten on nice and securely. Um, I want to get that washer onto there nice and tight. So we're ready to go with that. Now this will be quite firm because of that match going into there, but that will mean that the, the screw will go in and it will be really super secure when it's in there. So we just need to re-screw that into there. The matches, matches are very soft wood, so they do crumble up quite easily. And that's why the glue is quite helpful as well. Just to hold that in place. Now this one's quite a tricky one because of the angle of the um, where the uh, strap pin goes in. It means my screwdriver is kind of pressing up against the wood of the neck. But just keep going and get it screwed in. Again, this is not the most secure angle, but it's the way I can show you what I'm doing. And you just want to go for that. Until that nicely bites against the wood. But not too firm, because you'll either strip the uh, screw or you'll strip the wood. Neither of which you want to do. You want to keep going. Till that, there we go. So it's quite hard to move. And then that should be nice and tight and secure. And then that does the same. We do that same to the other, other end. Uh, and then you're sorted. The strap I've already adjusted to the right uh, width, uh, length for my personal preference. And then that will slot in nicely like that. Uh, and just to clocking in at 10 minutes, that's how you install a new strap block. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.